In this video, we'll demonstrate the full processing cycle of NDI in Nimble Streamer Media Server. We will take NDI input, take it into Nimble Origin, generate SRT output, then take SRT on a destination server powered by Nimble and will produce NDI output. We assume you have followed the installation instructions to get Nimble, Transcoder and SRT package ready to work. We disabled firewall on the servers where we launched Nimble to make sure all ports are available in our demo. First, let's produce a sample NDI stream. We launch NDI monitoring tool, which is provided as part of Nimble Transcoder installation. It allows showing what NDI sources there are in your network. We start the NDI test pattern from the NDI toolset and we see one new source in monitoring tool. Now let's create a transcoder scenario on our origin Nimble server to process incoming NDI. In decoder settings, use NDI type and enter NDI source name from our monitoring tool. In encoder, you can use any name and settings you need for your case. We connect decoders and encoders directly, but you may add any filters in between to make different transitions and make other transformations. Now save the scenario and wait until it's synchronized with the transcoder. Once it happens, you will see result in output live streams. Having that output, you can play it using the protocols defined by Nimble settings. In our example, we'll use HLS in our player's testing page. If we change NDI source, you'll see it changing in our player. Now, on this Origin Nimble server, we are going to set up SRT source for further transmission to destination server. Let's go to live stream settings, UDP streaming tab. The SRT sender will be working in listen mode. We recommend setting all interfaces in the IP setting and use any unused port. In the source app and stream name, we use a stream defined and tested on a previous step. If you use this stream in production, we also highly recommend setting latency and max W parameters. Once the saved setting synchronizes with Nimble instance, we can check the resulting SRT stream. We run a script from SRT tools, pointing it to pull the, the SRT stream from the origin server and play it. You can see a test image, which means that SRT is delivering the content produced by the NDI source.
When we change the test pattern, we'll see a change in the SRT playback output. Now let's set up the destination server to receive SRT and produce the NDI output. Go to live stream settings to MPEG-TS input tab and add new SRT stream. Nibble will work as a receiver in pool mode. We use the IP and port of our SRT stream on origin server. Here we set the outgoing app and stream name for further usage. Once the new settings are synchronized with uh, Nimble's instance, we'll see the result stream in the list of outgoing streams. That result stream can be tested via HLS, as we've done it with the origin server. You see the NDI source image, and if we change the source, the stream on the destination server will also change. This means the SRT is being delivered successfully. Now let's generate the NDI output. Go to Transcoder Scenarios page for Destination Server and create a new scenario. In Decoder Elements settings we use the stream which we've previously tested via HLS. For encoder elements, we define NDI as its type, and then we set a new NDI source name. We can add decoders and encoders directly, but you may add any filters in between. Once we save the scenario and it syncs up with Nimble, we can see a new NDI source via our monitoring tool. Now let's launch vMix and add a new source there. You see the image of the original NDI test pattern. If we change the source, you'll see the change in vMix. This means that we've built the pipeline, which takes NDI input, delivers it via SRT, and generates NDI output. Check video description to find all related links.